guys, welcome back. And if you're new here, my name is Vic, a senior from Yale University who makes videos on how to take care of ourselves, living more intentionally, and just staying grounded in a very stressful world. Now, a big part of living intentionally, I think, is continually challenging yourself to learn more and grow and just keep finding ways to be a student for life, which is why I wanted to make this video, even though it's a little bit outside of the type of videos I usually do. If you've watched a couple of my previous videos, you might have gotten a sense that another thing that I like to do aside from making YouTube videos is learning languages. I just started to get into learning Japanese in this time in quarantine, and so I decided to set a little challenge for myself to see how much Japanese I could learn in a month. I'm going to have a little bit of an introduction here to my process, my goals and things but if you're interested in skipping ahead to the parts where I talk about what I do exactly and the parts where I'm trying to speak Japanese um, I'm going to leave timestamps in the description below as I always do for all my videos. Around the last week of April, I already started listening to some audio courses on Pimsleur and learning the basics of Hiragana Katakana but I think I still have a very long way to go to actually start being able to have conversations which is, for me, the most exciting part of learning a language. This is going to be the first language that I learn completely on my own and so I'm really excited to get started. I don't intend to study it too intensely. I do have a study plan but I'm going to tweak that as I go along and just do whatever keeps me motivated to keep studying a language. I'm not going to be too strict on myself. I'm not going to set specific hours of a day that I need to study. I'm just going to do whatever I feel like and see kind of how much I learn using that method of studying. So I have a list of Japanese words over here that I know and I don't think this is an exhaustive list because when I was younger, I watched a lot of anime like between the ages of 10 to 15 and so I know a lot of random words and expressions and as you can see, they're all in Romaji because I can't write hiragana katakana yet um, but I would say my pronunciation in Japanese isn't too bad. So like things like Ohayo, konnichiwa, oyasumi nasai, onegaishimasu, hajime mashite itadakimasu, yoroshiku onegaishimasu, abunai daijoubu, eh, menryokusai, <laughs> irashai tadaima. Um, I think I have a pretty good understanding of how Japanese words sound. And also grammatically, I would say I don't know any rules, I don't know how to make any sentences. But I do know what sounds kind of right. I just wanted to state that so people know that I have some exposure to the Japanese language and I'm not studying from absolutely zero. Also, I wanted to say that I know Chinese. I, I don't know it well, but I do know a lot of the characters because I've been learning it growing up. So I think when I learn kanji, eventually down the line for Japanese, I will be able to um, recognize some of the kanji a little bit better which might help me memorize words compared to maybe someone who has only ever learned English. So this is going to be week 1 or week 0 of my studying. Um, as you can see, these are the only words that I'm able to speak right now. I'm able to say really basic sentences that I memorized like Victoria this, asking like for example directions. Eki wa doko desu ka? Which is, where's the station? Other than that, I would say I don't have any other knowledge of how to string sentences together, even asking more complex questions like, I don't even know how to say how much does this cost. So yeah, I think I will be learning all of that as I go along. I'll check in with you real soon. One thing I realized I forgot to talk about was my goals for this challenge. Honestly, I don't have any elaborate goals. The only thing I want to do is be able to speak to a Japanese person and have them understand me and me understand them for at least 5 to 10 minutes. Even if I have to speak a little bit of English to get my point across. But honestly, I think Japanese is a complicated language. So if I'm able to have that conversation and get my point across, I will be pretty contented. Let's see if I can even do that. <laughs> So for the first two weeks, I proceeded to finish learning my hiragana and katakana and I used Anki, which is a flashcard app, to really help me remember the characters. I continued listening to Pimsleur on my morning walks and often I also listen to this beginner Japanese podcast called Nihongo Kontepe, which is actually a really great beginner source of comprehensible input because he repeats things a ton of times and very slowly. I also started to learn a lot of Japanese grammar. Even though a lot of people hate learning grammar, I personally really enjoy it and so I went through a ton of grammar rules, wrote them all in my notebook as you can see here. For the first week, I didn't really have an outline. I just followed the general table of contents of a bunch of textbooks that I could find online but I didn't follow them all the time. I just did whatever I felt like learning on that day. 
Oh, and if you notice, I'm writing my Japanese notes with Spanish as much as I can, which is a way for me to help me remember my Spanish. Something else that I did to improve my Japanese listening skills was to watch a ton of Japanese TV shows. And I used this browser extension called Language Learning with Netflix, which gives you multiple subtitles. And so I will watch my shows in Japanese and English subtitles. Something that I would try to do is to not look at the English subtitles, but at least I still have them there if I really don't understand what they're saying. But doing this, I've noticed that I'm able to understand a lot more over time. So it's the 25th of May, um, which is basically the end of week two, the beginning of week three. And I think I'm gonna need to make a few changes to my study plan because I have been focusing a lot on grammar because I'm a grammar nerd and for some reason I really like to read about how the language works. But I find that I don't have enough vocabulary to make sentences that make sense. I can say a lot of random things. I can say like, Kyo wa skoshi samui desu. Or like, Amai tabemono ga suki desu. Or, Tokyo e ikitai desu. I think I have an understanding of how to string basic sentences together but as you can tell these are all random sentences that don't make sense if they're not said in a conversation that's already happening so I think in order for me to actually you know do a um, which is a self-introduction in Japanese properly, I would need to actually learn more vocabulary on words that are relevant to me like university or environmental studies which I study in school. I should start like creating sentences using grammar that I've already learned. That's what I'm going to try and focus on instead of getting deeper and deeper into the grammar. So I decided to make some changes to my study plan and build my vocabulary. I started out by building this Excel sheet with a bunch of vocabulary words and after a while started to create some sentences as well to help me in my first conversations uh, with other Japanese speakers. I also found this really useful Chrome extension called Yomichan, which is basically a dictionary. It, whenever you scroll over a Japanese word that you don't know, it will give you the meaning. And so that's been really useful in my studies. Another change that I made after this week was to start being more structured and following the JLPT N5 grammar syllabus, which is basically the standardized test for Japanese. And N5 is the lowest level. And the reason why I did that was because I was studying grammar without any structure. So I was starting to feel a little bit overwhelmed because there's so much information out there about the language. I also finally decided to schedule a call with a native speaker of Japanese using italki, which is a website that collates a bunch of native speakers who tutor in the language. Hey guys, so today is the 6th of June and tomorrow I am going to have my first italki lesson ever with a online tutor. I'm really nervous for that and so I thought it would be good to record myself trying to say as much as I can in Japanese in a coherent conversation just to see where I'm at after you know, four weeks of kind of studying. <laughs> I'm also going to try my best not to cut out any pauses so that you can see exactly how long I'm taking. But if the pauses get way too long, I definitely will need to cut them down because I don't want you to get bored. So yeah. では始めましょう。皆さんこんにちは。えっと自己紹介を始めましょうか。ビクトリアと申します。シンガポールと、シンガポールに出身です。I don't know the particle here. Oops, sorry. It's a little bit of a little アメリカに住んでいます。4週間前から日本語を勉強独学で勉強しています。本当に難しいです。毎日起きてヨガをして<笑> 
をいて朝ごはんを食べて日本語を勉強します私はもっと<笑>頑張ります<笑> Oh my god Okay so I'm a lot worse than I thought I was gonna be and I'm a little bit worried for my conversation tomorrow、um, but we'll see how it goes We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Nihongo wa nanen gurai? How long? Nanen gurai? Eh, benkyo, benkyo shima? Hi. Eh, san shukan. Oh, san shukan! My kara, hi. Hachiman, demo. Jozu ne, jozu des. どうしてどうして日本語を勉強しますか ?Why? はい。えー、っと、えー、っと、えーうん<笑>、言語を、はい、はい。好きです。<笑>言語好きです。英語を話します。English。はい。英語を話します。はい、英語を話します。わ、はい wow. さあ。えー、そっか、なんというか、and, and, そしてそしてそして,そして,そして中国語、うん、おじいちゃんと、うん、ふんおばあちゃんおばあちゃんとあママ<笑>お母さんお母さん,お,お母さんはいお母さん using a mouth phone so、まあ、how do you say This one, sing a song. Uta, 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 Uh, これは read。はい。飲みま、no、no, no, no, no. えっ、ー、と、よ、うん、よ、よ、よ<笑>、よ、よ、よびま、読みます。読みます。読みます。はいはいはい。あ、学生さんですか？はいはい。えっ、ー、と、<笑>大学四年生です。ああ。はい。専門は何ですか専門専門、メイジャー。はい、環境学を勉強します。すごい。アメリカに。<笑>あ、アメリカの大学ですかはい、アメリカの大学です。今はシンガポールに帰ってきました。あ、<笑>ごめん、あ、戦後。えっ、ー、と、はい。はい、あ、今、休みバケーションはい、でも、うん、でも、さん、さん、か月はい、さんか月。いや、ドリーマン。さんかつ。あ、さんかつ。はい。でも、さんかつ、シンガポール、はいうん、アメリカからシンガポールに。帰りました。帰ります。帰りました。帰りました。はい。I think I definitely still have a long, long, long way to go. And actually, I think I progressed a lot less than I thought I would in one month, considering how much time I have to study. This was actually supposed to be a video of me learning Japanese in the four months over the summer. But I decided to release this one month journey anyway to show people that four weeks can pass by really fast. But if you dedicate your time to doing something fulfilling, like learning a language, Or whatever skill that might be for you, you can come away with quite a lot. And even though I still feel, as I said, that I haven't made a lot of progress, it amazes me how much more I recognize from listening to Japanese TV shows. So much more than I understood in the past. Even something like that to me is a victory. I really just wanted to make this video to inspire more people to take the leap and do something that interests them, even if it may seem scary or unsurmountable, because you really never know. 
um, where it might take you. Learning languages is a key part of personal development, right? It's dedicating yourself towards something that might not be easy. It doesn't give you instant gratification because it's something that takes time, it takes effort, it takes a lot of hard work. And so I think this is a key part of growing for me personally. So yeah, I'm genuinely really excited to see where Japanese goes from here. And when I get back into school, I definitely intend to keep taking Japanese classes. If you guys would be interested in all, I would be happy to share more tips on how to self-study a language, and this can be any language, and also tips on improving languages in general, whether you're studying on your own or studying in school. So give me a thumbs up or comment down below if you'd be interested in seeing those videos. So other than that, I think I'm gonna go off and study more Japanese. I have to start my flashcards for today. I hope this video inspired at least one of you watching this, and I will see you guys real soon.